Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Anissa Dwi Putri from Class 1C Farmasi Inspiring Stories We Allah narrate to you all such stories from the events of the messengers as we Allah Strengthen your heart therewith In these stories, there has come to you the truth a good counsel and a reminder to those who live. The, bo- the boy and the king and people of the trench as helpful of good. Suhaib ibn Sinan report that the messengers of Allah told there lived a king Yusuf Nunuas before you in Yemen and he lived about 70 years before the birth of messengers of Allah and he had a magician as the magician grew, grew old he said to the king I have become old on many my time is nearly over so send me a boy home boy whom I can teach magic so he sent him a boy Abdullah ibn Tamir in the magician taught him a magic. On his way to the magician, the young man found a monk sitting there and listened to his talk and was impressed by it. It became his habit that on his way to the magician, he met the monk said there so he was waiting coming to the magician who bet him because of the delay. The young boy made a complaint about it the monk so the monk said When you feel afraid of the magician say my people kept me busy And when you feel afraid of your family say to them the magician kept me busy <clears throat> It once happened that there come a half beast of prey and it blocked the way the way of the people the young boy said, I shall find out today whenever the magician or the monk is correct in the leaf. He picked up a stone and said, O oh Allah, if the teaching of the monk are dearer to, dearer to you than the teaching of the magician, bring there to this animal so that the people will be able to move about freely. He threw that stone towards in and tile in it and the people began to move about. The young man then came to the monk and informed him. The monk said, My son, today you are superior to me. Your affairs have reached a stake where I find that you will, son, be put the test. And in that case, the reveal my identity. The young man began to treat the blind and those suffering from leprosy and began to cure people of all kinds of illness. There was a scourger of the king who had become blind, blind, and he heard about the boy. He came and broke a uh, numbers of gifts. For the boy inside, if you call me, all these things collect, collect together, here will be yours. He said, I myself do not care anyone, anyone. It is Allah who cures. If you affirm fight in Allah, I shall also supplicate Allah to carry you. He affirmed his fight in Allah and Allah cured him. He came to the king and said, by his seat as he used to sit before. The king said to him, Who restored your eyesight? He said, My lord. The king then asked, I did it. The court said, No, my lord and your lord, Allah. The king said, Do you have another lord beside me? He said, Yes, your lord and my lord is Allah. Whereupon the the king took hold of of him and tortured him until 
he revealed the identity of God. The young man has the someone, and the king said to him, "O oh boy, it has been conveyed to me, to me, that you have become so talented in your magic that you cure the blind and cause suffering from leprosy, and you do such and such things." Thereupon he said, "I do not cure. I don't. I do not cure anyone." It is Allah who cures. The king took hold of him and began to torture him. So he revealed the identity of the monk. The monk was the some someone, and it was said to him, "Turn back from your religious religion." He, however, refused to do so. King ordered a cell to be brought, and was placed in the middle of his. His head and it fell apart. Then the quarter of the king was brought in, was said to him, "Turn back from your religion." But he refused to do so. Then the same was done with him as well. Then the young boss, then then the young boy was brought, and it was said to him. Turn back from your religion, he refused to do so, and he was head over to a group of his culture. He said to them, "Take him to such and such mountain, make him climb that mountain, and when you reach it, stop. Ask him to give up his fight. But if he refuses to do so, throw him down the mountain." So. They took him and made him climb the mountain. The boy cried, "O oh Allah, save me from them! In any way you will." The mountain began to quake and they all fell down. The boy came walking back to the king. The king said to him, "What has happened to your companions?" Companions, he said, "Allah has saved me from them." He again. Handed him to some of his courtiers and said, "Take him and carry him away in small boat. And when you reach the middle of the ocean, ask him to give up his religion. But if he does not give up his religion, throw him into the water." So they took him and the boy cried, "O oh Allah, save me from them and what they want to do." It was not long before the boat overturned and they were were drowned. But he came walking back to the king. The king said to him, "What has happened to your companions?" He said, "Allah has saved me from them." He also said to the king, "You cannot kill me until I tell you how to do." He asked, "What is that?" The boy said, "You saw gather people on a plain and hang me by a trunk of a tree, then take an arrow from the quiver and say, 'In the name of Allah, the Lord of the Worlds, then shoot an arrow. If you do that, do that, you will be able to to kill me.'" See, he did this and placing an arrow in the bow, he shot it, saying, "Bismillah, Rabbi, Bismillah, Rabbi, in the name of Allah, the Lord of the young boy." The arrow hit the boy in the temple, and the boy placed his hand over the arrow wound and died. The people proclaim, proclaim, we affirm, or of our. Fight in the Lord of this young man. The courtiers come to the king, and it was said to him, "Do you see what has happened? That which you fought has taken place. That their fight is in the Lord." So he ordered that ditches to be dug at the entrances to the roads. And it was done. And 
bonfires were kindled in them. Then the king said, Whoever abandons his religion, let him go, and whoever does not, throw him into the fire. The people caught dead, but did not refuse their fight from Allah, until a woman came with her baby, whom she was breastfeeding. She felt his time about jumping into the fire. The baby spoke to her, Be patient, mother, for, for verily, you are following the thread. Muslim and Imam Ahmad recorded. According to some reports, about more than 12,000 people were burned, burned into ashes. After that, the fire flared up so high that it spread awfully through the city and burned out those who were watching the fun of burning the Muslim. Only Yusuf bin Was, the king, managed to run away and threw himself into, into the sea in order to save himself from the rage of the fire. But he got drawn and died, Tafsir Mazhari. It was about the Noahs and his army that Allah revealed to his messenger in Surah No. 8. 85 Al Buruj, the reference is made to this incident. The Holy Quran, course where the people of the trench, the people of the fire that was rich with food, when they were sitting by it and were watching what they were doing with the believers, and they had. Blame, blame them for nothing but, but that they believe in Allah, the Almighty, the worthy of all price, the own to whom belongs the kingdom of the heaven and the earth, and Allah is witness over everything. Surely, those who prosecute the believing men man and the believing woman then did not repent for them there is the torment of jahannam and for them there is the torment of burning and in a narration of muhammad ibn ishaq it is reported that the place where the boy of dula ibn tamir was but but had had to be dug up for some importance recent during the time of Sayyidina Umar. It, it was found that the body of Abdullah ibn Tamil was unharmed and he was sitting up. His hand was placed on his hip joint where he wrote struck him. Some one people moved his hand out from the place and his wound started bleeding. When the hand was placed back in its position. The bleeding stopped. There was a ring in his finger which had the inscription, Allah who wrote me, Allah is my Lord. The governor of Yemen informed Sayyidina Umar about this, about this, and he wrote back in reply, cover the body back as it was with his finger ring. Tafsir Ibn Hadi. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.